next presenter comes all the way from Italy. His favorite restaurant is the Olive Garden. <laughs> so you know, this, it's where he feels home when he's over here in the United States of America. Um, you may have heard of a company called Virus, and I'm sure you've seen many, many pictures online, and maybe you've seen pictures up close of the work that they have done and created. Some of the most beautiful prints I've ever seen in my life, and I don't, I don't think that they were actually printed. I think that a, magi ma <laughs> a, a magician made it happen. So clearly he's the Harry Houdini of Waterbase Inks. I'd like to introduce you to my buddy, Beppe from Virus Inks. Thank you. So you got a lot of information today, I think, very precious, especially the witness from the printer. Uh, they are sharing with you a direct experience that is important and first of all, they prove that it's possible to print water base. My opinion, water base is not a printing technique, but it's a concept. It's something people have in mind, and all the one having problem to face of thinking that it's impossible to print water base is better they don't start at all because they set up their mind in a position of to be uh, to file. Uh, every, every test they do. So you have to believe, you have to improve your sense of achievement, and you have to believe in what, in, in your ability. Uh, I changed a little bit my presentation because uh, along the day, with all things you already listened, already became old. Uh, what I, I want to do is to start with very short video testimonial from some printer like you. And I decide to give some of my time to the protagonist of the, of the market. So. Hi, my name is Jorge. I'm a graphic designer and I'm the owner of Tiger Room in Toledo, Texas. It was a plastic old work. Uh, I was standing at the end of the trial waiting for the first teacher to come out. And I cannot explain to you what happened, really. Uh, the teacher came out. The registration was perfect. There was no pinholes or anything. Everything looks great. But at the moment that my hands touched that cream, something changed in my life forever. That moment I decided that I didn't want to use plastic solid. So I went back to my office, uh, called Kelly Morris and Graphic Solutions, and explained him that I wanted to make a switch to Waterbase. They started showing me these amazing, amazing albums, uh, these things that I have never seen before, uh, with these so vibrant colors, uh, with this magnificent registration. I've never seen something like that in my life. So, I was going to come back to my shop, take all the plastic so in and throw it in the garbage, and I was going to start using the system. Everybody called me crazy, everybody told me this is not possible, you don't know what you're talking about. So when I came back in January, I told them, I made a general meeting, I told all my employees that we were going to switch water base. And you know how it is. You mentioned water base to some printers and they're ready to run out of the door. Everybody, nobody was happy. Uh, but I didn't give them a choice. We made a lot of mistakes. Uh, some of them were uh, really painful. I lose two employees during the process uh, because they were not either willing or wanted to learn. Uh, but at the end, you know, my answer to all of their complaints was, listen, someone using the team and it was working fine, so I don't see a reason why it shouldn't work fine for us. And that no class is only uh, we'll close the door on my show. My name is Eric Solomon. My wife and I run a company in Houston called Night Owls. We've been 100% water-based since the beginning of 2019. To get to that point, we practice and work for the water-based for the past 12 years. And it's always been a goal of ours to get to the point where we are 100% water-based. Uh, we've had to revise our practices two, three, four dozen different times to get to the point where we feel we're doing now. Uh, 
right now. The reason it's really important for us to be working with water basing, not only because it's friendly, but for the simple fact that our shop is based in Texas where it's hot and sweaty all the time. Wearing thick plastic prints is not very comfortable. We also found that as a way to distinguish ourselves from a lot of our competitor shops and really put our product in one step above what everyone else is doing. The fact that it's eco friendly and a little bit more sustainable than plastic salt really makes it even that fun. My name is Michelle Moxley. I'm the innovation director at NR. I've been in textile embellishment and screen printing for 23 years. I st first started using high solid water base about 10 years ago. My initial introduction to high solid water base was the large brands that I was working with at the time made the request that PVC be removed from the inks that we were using. So I did some research into the different chemistries available and started testing and playing with different products. I was particularly drawn towards inks because my background had been heavily special effects printing and I found their product range to be quite diverse and it gave me many options as a print developer to create new technique and new embellished products for the market. I particularly loved high solid water base and all of its chemistries because it was almost like a whole new world had revealed itself and the potential for new development was really kind of opening up. It's been exciting to kind of track it uh, the last 10 years and see how it has reached into the market and how people are learning and growing. And it's a really exciting thing to see um, a new form of creative expression against all these screen printers using these different chemistries. And it's really exciting to look into the future and see how um, these kinds of skills that we're learning are going to transform and evolve. So from my end, high solid water base was a really important part of my evolution as a printer. My name is Brian Mitchell. I work at CNE Specialties in Rockford, Illinois. I've been a plastisol printer for 25 years. Out of the 25 years, I would say 23 of those years, I've printed nothing but plastisol inks. Uh, water base had been brought up to my attention before, but everybody had kind of always knocked how fast it would dry in the screens and problems they would have during their production runs. But come to the end of 2018, acquaintance of mine, uh, said I really need to take this water-based webinar class and clinic over in Chicago, that the technology in water-based ink has really changed and has made great improvements over the years. So back in November, I took the class. Uh, we came back to our shop after the class and started very simple with one color prints. Now we're doing up to eight, nine color jobs. Our customers are absolutely loving the feel and the brightness of the water-based inks and have had no issues with the printability and durability of the inks during production rounds and after they've been washed. So definitely look into making your shop a water-based printing environment. My name's Colin Shane. I'm the founder of Lone Mountain Printing up here in Montana. We've been in business for nine years now and we are a 100% water-based screen printing shop. We ultimately chose to go 100% water-based back in 2014 when we bought our first automatic. And now we are running two automatics, um, averaging about 50,000 prints a month in a 100% water-based environment. Um, we ultimately chose switching to water-based because I knew that this was a feature of apparel printing here in the United States. Um, you look at Europe and Almost every major brand in Europe has moved away from plastisol. They're going PVC free. They want the innovation. And the water-based ink manufacturers have been pushing the level of innovation demand because of their clients. Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, Benetton, Zara. They are all looking for the next best thing to make their product better. And I felt that was the direction. And the other, one of the biggest aspects too was when I first started, we had... Um, 12 screen printing companies in a town of 40,000 people. 
And so I had to carve out my niche um, to be able to way to make business. And when we started pushing more to a national level and pulling in more national clients, we found that it did benefit us as being 100% water-based shop because it was things that people, manufacturers did not manufacturers, but um, big apparel brands didn't realize was out there. And when they saw the difference of what a water-based print was doing with its um, lack of dot gain, higher details, more um, extravagant and special effects, the client, they, it opened up their eyes to what was even more possible. Um, one of the last biggest reasons we made the choice of water base was due to we, it's the cleanup. My, my staff has a lot less exposure to chemicals. Um, we're cleaning up with just water. So we're, we're keeping, we're using water and we're not having to keep other chemicals around that dries out your hands, you're inhaling, things like that. So ultimately, um, I'd say that this decision at the very end was a very personal decision for myself more than what the market was demanding. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you very much to the guys contributing to this uh, video. It's been done uh, homemade. They are all 100% water-based printer. Uh, they use different brand of machine. There is MHM, there is MNR, there is uh, Rock, uh, Els, and they use different water-based ink. So it's not a matter to take testimonial of something to address people to use a specific product, but to adopt a specific concept uh, of printing approach. Uh, I speed up a little bit in order to avoid to keep you here too long. So I go straight away. Now I go to present some special effect print. If you are interested to see after the presentation, there are the real sample here and you can see uh, in reality and uh, you can touch, you can understand about the brightness, about the application, etc. The special effect is the artistic part of the screen printing. Uh, everything we mentioned today was related to the technical approach. This is fundamental, including also the educational program because getting information allowed you to have additional element to consider when you go to approach any job, especially when you switch from one technology to another. It's important to have as many as possible information in order to have the right tool for the specific uh, need. Uh, creativity is one important part. Screen printing is part of the uh, graphic art, and art is something related to the feeling, to the sensation, to the emotion. This is an important part because this element could be used to motivate our customer and to make our own product unique, specific, able to transfer a message. When we go to buy a t-shirt, we look to the color, to the fashion, to the print, to the idea, how the print has been realized, and the message that the story that the t-shirt is telling us. And when we found something suitable for us, we buy. Last thing we do is to ask for the price and pay the bill. So as you can see, a lot of emotional element is on the way to convince the buyer to buy our print and our machine. This is fundamental. Exactly for the water base, uh, for, sorry, for the special effect. Special effect is not a material, is not an ink. Uh, glitter, mm, metallic, puff, everything. These are not special effect. It's just a different thing to use. Because if we consider this like a special effect, we lose all the surprise, we lose all the effective emotion uh, they include. Special effect is an idea. The idea how to use the product I have. Even the most simple, white ink can become a special effect. We will see 
on the on the presentation. So it's very important to switch on the emotional part in ourselves because we have to be artists. This is a design where the special effect on the start. Okay. Can you do something to, anyway. Uh, this is a regular print where we decide to add a special effect to make the difference. Because otherwise our proposal became exactly uh, the same of the other. So when we go to make a print, we have to think to make an additional value because the additional value is the element making the difference when we go to propose our, our, our print. And in this case, I try to use the path. The path, expanding or what else you want to call, the path is very nice because allowed us to go to put in evidence the detail. The detail became the main actor of your print because they go to put in evidence specific area and making them more real. Because before we talk about feelings, but the feeling in the printing is the soft end, is the color, is the message. So also the feeling is an important thing. So when we go to tear touch, we have to feel something we want to, uh, coming out from, from our print. Uh, another possibility is in this print, for example, we decide to use the special effect to make, to enrich the image. So not only we use uh, uh, gold metallic, gold metallic give me bright effect, metallic effect, but we thought to, to combine together the glitter because the metallic is going to give the effect, the glitter is going to give the dimension. So very simple combination, but really fascinating. And everything in the, in the print, even though these are wonderful print, high definition, blah, 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 our attention go here. And this is the reason why we have to consider the special effect and additional value, something to make the difference. Otherwise, everybody of us make the same job, a little bit better, a little bit uh, not so good, but always the same. And the only thing able to change in this offer to the market could be the price. If you are going to add an idea, because the idea is to think and project to use two special effects in a specific way. And sometimes it's important, we'll see in other example, to add a special effect even when the customer is not asking to us. Because this addition is a way demonstrating that you are taking care about your customer. You are not a printer, but you are his partner. And you want to develop the product for them because and um, this is going to, to, to win the, the competition and uh, to offer something better to the market. Identity. Identity is another ink that is difficult to interpret. The wrong thing is possible to do is to try to print identity in single pass or couple of pass and another big mistake is to print high density in large area. High density in large area, especially in water base, is not possible to be printed because go to relax a little bit and it's not pleasant, it's not smooth, etc., etc. The right way to print the path, uh, sorry, the, the high density is to print small detail because they are easier to print. Uh, easier to feel, and they are really effective because you are able to print a very cut edge uh, uh, result. Hey, Johnny. Doesn't work. Yeah. 
So here you see the red part is the one we consider to print in high density. Very easy to print, uh, grow very fast because the deposit is correct. You don't need to make additional pressure. You just need to add number of screen necessary to achieve the thickness you are looking for. Everybody try to save number of the screen is going to get a very bad high density result. There is no other way because you have to deposit a quantity of ink that is not possible to be done in one single screen or two screen. You have to use more to get what you want. This is another example, very simple print Effective but very simple because it's a free color. It's a grayscale separation. So we have white and a couple of gray. So the most important thing to do here is there is no much to do. So the idea was to take the texturization of the skin, uh, select it from, from the image, and print this selection, this texturization with the path on the bottom. So you print the path on the bottom, your white, your grays, etc. And when you put inside the dryer, the path push up and create you this kind of. These are going to create a detail in an image, not at all detail Let me see. So the image is not very well detailed. So the detail of the parts are going to <clears throat> help us to create an emotion. So when you go to feel, it's very nice, it's very pleasant, and it's very new, very different. There is sample there to see. This is another idea. Uh, to print crack, for example. The crack is very poor ink. Uh, it's not giving much emotion. Uh, too many times see, so we can think to use the crack white as a white under base and go to print on top everything you need. And when you finish to print, after the dryer, you can stretch by hand and the uh, end cracking is going to crack, creating this effect. Another combination has been to add the puff in this case on the top because the two layer of pulp allowed us to have a velvet effect and in the same time to have a paint effect. So also this is a very easy uh, way to print and possible to achieve an interesting result, also into the detail. <laughs> this was a four color process and we print the uh, same color. Instead to use uh, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black, we use fluorescent color, corresponding fluorescent color. Instead of cyan, blue fluo, uh, red fluo, yellow fluo. And the result is you can create different effect with a simple print making a special effect. This is the gold. Uh, we use the white under base and then we go to print on top. But nobody uh, can avoid to print instead of the white a special effect. For example, in this case, we print gold, metallic, silver, metallic, and copper. Can you start again? Yeah, yeah. So there is a free color, a gray scale. We print instead of the white under base, we print silver gold as a second color, copper as a third color. The black is going to create the detail and the deepness. So because uh, it's not possible to be achieved uh, with finer um, afton um, with, uh, with the metallic. Many times we receive also designs that are not very good in the good quality or they are not totally well designed, etc. So we have to invent something to set up everything. And this is an example. This design is, is not, the, the, the picture is not very well focused. 
also this part of the design, there is a lot of undefined uh, color. So it's not nice to see. So the idea has been to invent this motif in order to rebalance uh, the design and get a, 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 a nice and, and, and interesting um, uh, effect. So we print the foil adhesive, and after printing everything, put in the dryer, transfer the foil. The foil became the main actor, and is the one attracting the attention, because the people say, oh, nice, nice decoration, good idea. But in the same time, we take the attention of the observer from the, the problem to something uh, better. And this is an idea. So the special effect could be also an idea or a tool to make our uh, uh, print a little bit better. Also, this one is a very overexposed image, not well defined, poor contrast. So if we go to print this design, we are not able to give uh, emotion. So what we think is to work on two main elements. For example, here, we decide to use a flock paper transfer. Instead to press foil, we press flock paper. And also the paper flock has been used to make darker some part. And making darker some part, as you can see, there is different from the real black and the application. This strong contrast is going to make almost fluo, fluorescent the cyan and the magenta. So you are going to add a special effect. You are going to add an application. You are making much better your uh, image. Also, another part, can you help me? Okay. The hair, the hair has been redesigned because the background was really poor, difficult to understand, no uh, contrast, no uh, line, no dimension. So here we print on the bottom the path. The path is a very nice tool because when the path push all the color, uh, that the path is able to push became lighter. So in the same time you give dimension, uh, you can feel and also the visual dimension because you create a degradation of the color and becoming lighter, you get one more dimension. You can also use simple thing to do special effect. It's just a matter to consider. Let's see. This is a free color white, for example. This is free color white. Looks like difficult to breathe, and but it's not. Which is the pleasant part of the image. Uh, it's nice because we see definition, we see transparency, and we see opacity. So we build free level. So to build free level is quite easy in screen printing. You have to print free color or more. But here in this case, it's been done free color. This is what we did. This is the first color of the separation because we were looking for the tiles. We decided to print this in free or five, uh, three or five mesh. The white in three or five mesh is not going to be opaque, but can be, uh, can provide a lot of detail. When you go to print in three or five, you have a white becoming gray. This is good because I want you to print the gray to give an underground. So you print the white with eye mesh and you get a gray effect with all the detail. Everywhere. 
The second color, still 305, because I already have a base on which I can print another white in 305, getting the difference. So I build the second level. So the tile and transparency. The addition of the third color is going to be the opacity. And the opacity, in contrast with the other two, are going to be the difference between the first and the third. This difference is going to provide transparency. And the transparency is something difficult. Is something difficult to achieve with with an ink. So you need to have a different uh, approach. Changing the viewpoint is very nice. I used to do this kind of example. When I talk about point of view, people have a different. Uh, what I want to say is, if I tell you this is a night cream, you start thinking that I'm becoming crazy, okay? Because this is your point of view. If, if I switch this thing, you understand why I'm talking about a night cream, and I understand why you are considering that this is a white piece of paper. This is the power of the uh, different point of view. This is another interesting tool when you go to engineering your brain because it allows you to have a different uh, vision of the problem. So you have an additional or two or three additional elements to consider. So when someone is convinced that the screen to bring the white has to be mesh, why? It's not true. The design we saw before was three, three or five. Because the first make the, 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 the white gray. The second give the second level, the second gray, the light gray. And the third give the opacity. So it's not necessary to put a lot of ink to get the opacity. You can build uh, the support. So the first is working as a under base, the second go to strength the underbase, the third is going to give you the total opacity. And this is a clever way also to get a bright and opaque print with very little deposit. So nice uh, end fill, uh, less ink, so reduce your cost. And again, the flashing is going to reduce dramatically because uh, also the flashing during the production is a special effect because if you are able to cool in two seconds instead of three, you are improving 30% your productivity. What about the price of the ink? 30% productivity more, you get uh, cost saving very, very uh, evident. And this is an important element to keep in consideration because your job is not to buy ink, your job is to sell t-shirt. So try to think about that. This is washi paper. Uh, what you see here are the fiber of the paper. This is very ecological paper, just for the people that want to exaggerate in terms of ecology. Uh, could be used in several ways. You just need to print uh, an adhesive. In the free station, you apply a piece of washi paper that is an handmade Japanese uh, paper, very famous. And the fiber can be overprinted by ink or adhesive to apply the foil as you like. And when you finish to print, after drying the dryer, you spray water, simply water, and with the air uh, pressure, you have just to blow away the exceeding one and remain the fiber. So this is not as very performing in durability, but it's very ecological. If you have, for example, customer 
in the field of food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is a, a, a nice idea. Another nice idea is to use burnout. Burnout is not considered very well because um, request 50-50, etc. Mm. Uh, 50 poly, 50 cotton, etc. In this case, we use the burnout in a different way. So we print an adhesive. In the free station, we apply the first layer of fabric, cotton, without to flash anything. You move in another station, you print again the adhesive, different size. In the free station, you apply again your piece of cotton and go into the dryer. Into the dryer, finish that, you have just to press with the up press exactly like you do for your um, uh, foil application, and you peel away. Because I forget to tell you that in the between, after the application of the fabric, that you print an outline in burnout. Burnout is going to burn, so in the hand of the, the print after the dryer, you can peel away, like to peel uh, a foil, for example. This is very nice. Here we wanted to exaggerate just to make the difference. As you can see, there are small flower, uh, like an engraving, okay? Like an engraving. Uh, what we did? We use the, the burnout, 10%, we disperse 10% of burnout in south, a regular water base, base. And so, has no longer the strength to burn everything, but it's enough to make an engraving. So, it's going to burn all the fiber, and this is possible to create also a design on top very different, can be used as a patchwork without to embroider or what else. Crack, this is a self-cracking and became once again a little bit basic. Uh, in this reason, we try to say, okay, this is a self-cracking, means that under the flesh or into the dryer, automatically crack. How we can make something different? And what we try to, to test is to put a foil adhesive on the bottom and the crack, self-cracking on the top into the dryer. When it's into the dryer, the crack crack and make free the adhesive to apply the foil. So another, no, something different than usual. And we are using regular in because path Oil adhesive, uh, uh, metallic, etc. We are not using, uh, I don't know. This is a very, very uh, easy print. Two colors, gray and white. The idea has been to print adhesive here and to apply a flock adhesive uh, paper, uh, paper transfer. As you can see, you go to add contrast, dimension, and everything. Also, this design is here to be seen in... Uh... This is another crack. This is a hand crack cracking. So in this case, we have to do the opposite. We print the crack on the bottom. It's usually say why, because crack much faster. And the adhesive on the top, because there is no chance to make the adhesive crack. And when you apply the foil, you have just to stretch your garment and this is going to happen. Simulate per create. So another idea could be simulate material. We go very fast here because they are all the same. Here for this brand, we create the opportunity to simulate the basketball, uh, and as you can see, we consider it the glossy black because the strip in the basketball is glossy. And here we have dimension obtained with the path. And also the feeling because we use PU ink is very rubbing, very rubbish. I don't know, rubbish, no, it's not correct, but 
you understood. <laughs> this is the simulation of the asphalt for the runner. This is the simulation, this is a famous uh, sole of the Nike shoes. And for example, we use this design to print and always involving the path to give the dimension. Also, this print is here, very nice to see. This is a simulation of the leather simulation. This is wood simulation. Print, regular print with the path on the bottom, giving you the three dimension of effect. All these prints are here if you are curious to see. This is another nice idea. We want to simulate the metal, and the here is not possible to see, but there is also small particle of glitter on top, because when you go to touch, you feel the roughs, the roughs of the metallic part. This is simulation of the embroidery. So very simple, four color design. We selected the light of the design and we print them as a path on the bottom. This is very popular in the past, but it's still a nice idea. Special normality, we are going to finish. Special normality, so from the normal point of view, we can transform in special effect everything. Uh, let's see what I mean. So this is a normal print, vector color, but taking advantage of uh, what we mentioned before with the white, the white is the most important uh, color, the most important in screen printing, because it's the one providing you opacity and uh, brightness. Opacity is not to come from the color of the ink, because it's not possible, because if you make an ink opaque, you lose brightness, because the charges included in the resin are transforming the color in a little bit milky, and this is never a very bright color. The color comes from the bottom because it's not the pigment making bright the color, but it's the light. Because when the light comes through the green, get the white and jump back, green with itself also the color. And this is a normal theory. It didn't invent anything. It's a normal theory. So if you take in consideration that, you can understand how much, as mentioned, as also Demi mentioned, how many advantages you can get from this situation. So as long as the uh, reflection of the light, more bright became your color. So if you use different level of opacity, you are able to establish with the same, same color different uh, level. And this means different colors. Uh, for example, here a very simple design. We create two white, one in three or five, and this may gray the first white. And the second one is uh, 157. And so I get the opacity where I need it. Can you talk into the mic? Yeah. Should do something the mic. <laughs> okay. When we go to print on top a vector a print, I get two greens instead of one. So you didn't use one more screen. You are investing in one more screen to get many more color. And if I go to add another, uh, this is yellow, I get two, three, four color, but I print just two. And when I go to add the blue, I have two color, I just add two. The red is going to create one, two, three, four color. So 
Here, I have nine color print, but I print only four. So try to think about that, and you can understand how important it is to consider the white in your separation. Because if you print the first white in 305 at the second one, 100, <coughs> sorry, 57, you have also a fantastic end field. So safe ink, nice uh, filling, and a lot of color. Here we have nine different color, but we print only three. Uh, that's all. Uh, last message, because my fabulous English, I prefer to leave to a small video, very short. Uh, this is going to explain our way to be. Uh, because as I told before, it's important also to use the artistic part of our job. And to be possible, you need to have clear idea about the direction. Uh, these are free words, free concept. I consider free, I stole it to a good friend of mine. And uh, because exactly represent what I think about my, my profession. I live there, it's just to read and you can understand much better. Okay. Thank you very much, Beppe.